if you're designing tables in your bubble application that are going to display many rows of records, then you can benefit from pagination. Pagination is a design technique that involves breaking down large data sets into more manageable chunks or pages. You've probably experienced this across the web with search. So if you perform a search that's going to return, you know, hundreds, if not thousands of results, typically the application will only show you a few results at a time, depending on the overall design of the table. And so this method can really improve the user's experience by reducing overall page load times, uh, making things easier to navigate. It also reduces scrolling. And there are several things to consider for the design itself. The first thing, and I would probably say this is the most important, is help your user stay oriented. Let them know how many results there are overall, let them know how many pages of results there are and what page they're currently on. Next, make it easy to navigate through the pages of your table. You wanna make sure that you position the pagination buttons either above and or below the table, depending on the design. The height of the table may make that decision for you, right? We wanna help the user reduce the amount of scrolling and the number of clicks that it takes them to move through each page. So you do wanna have a previous and next button so that they can cycle through each page page one at a time, but depending on the size of your data set, you may also want to offer a, you know, back to first page or jump to the last page so that they can shortcut their way over there. You may even want to consider allowing them to jump to a specific page if your data set involves many, many pages to move between. Real quick, if you're finding this helpful, our fast track course goes vastly more in depth about how to take your app from idea to launch. Founders who are looking for a complete and structured start to finish blueprint have found it most helpful. So you can take a look over at coachingnocodeapps.com slash fast hyphen track to see if it might be a good fit for you too. If your table is gonna be more interactive and your users are selecting items within the pages, just remember to consider those selections as the user moves through each page. For example, if they select uh, a couple items on page one and then they move to pages two and three, are you still holding on to those selections or have they been lost? This is completely up to you and how you want the table to function. Uh, but once you've incorporated pagination, you do need to be mindful of things like custom states, selections, right? If you're gonna perform bulk actions, is it gonna be on just the page in view or on all of the results total? One of the key benefits to pagination is that it can significantly improve the performance of the page overall. Imagine a table with hundreds of items and no pagination incorporated. You know, the user is likely going to be waiting a lot longer for that table to load in all of that data all at once. Compare that to a paging system where the application only needs to load in one page's worth of data at a time that can help them move through the table a lot faster. You know, in some cases, the user isn't expected to go through every single page every time. So you're really optimizing a lot of areas here. So be very mindful of how many items you're going to max out your table to show at any given time, right, per page, uh, because that can really help the app's performance.